I'm Mal Gordon. I'm the author of uh, a book that came out in several editions. It's called The Grand Guignot, The Theater of Terror and Horror. Guignot began in 1897 and lasted about um, 60 some years and every decade, every generation, it was somewhat different but it had the same attractions of sex and violence. The word means big puppet and the idea behind it was to create a, a sort of sensationalist puppet show not for children but for adults and what would stimulate adults to uh, uh, to laugh and to cry and to react like children, this is sex and violence. Grand Guignol became one of the biggest tourist attractions in Paris. And uh, there's so many funny things about it. Uh, one is the people who are attracted to it other than tourists, like Ho Chi Minh, who's a Chinese pastry chef. Uh, the King of Romania and his mistress had their own bedroom in the back of the Grand Guignol where they made love while they watched it. The folklore of the Grand Guignol is extraordinary. It's a theater of uh, horror and terror, but the actors actually uh, suffered horror and terror, sometimes more than the audiences. Many of them um, were injured in the productions, of, uh, two of them died. Uh, some of the playwrights outside the theater who wrote about death died on opening night, so it has this extensive folklore. One of the interesting things about the Grand Guignol is it started as a chapel. And when you look at it, it has this otherworldly presence. And the productions generally ran according to a, an idea of what they called hot and cold showers. Sex farces uh, interspersed with uh, horrific plays, with comedies, and then horrific plays yet again. Uh, on the average evening, two people would faint, uh, sometimes as many as 15. And the people who would faint were almost always males because it said that males didn't cover their eyes when they saw the horrific effects. And the effects were pretty astounding of people being mutilated, of eyes being gouged out, of uh, blood flowing from the heart, from the head, uh, legs being cut off, of people being uh, gobbled by pumas and lions and uh, serial murderers. There's a kind of humor, but also kind of devotion to seeing what could happen when ordinary people go crazy. The Grand Guignol produced this grand uh, folklore, which ended in 1962, because it became something of a joke. It couldn't really compete with uh, horror movies, when exactly the most um, uh, uh, bloody and, and, and um, psychologically uh, stressful horror movies really get their start with the Grand Guignol. And even Grand Guignol actors go to Hollywood where they reenact um, some of the same characterizations that they invented in this little uh, Parisian theater.